new meme coin I'm degening. I'll tell you why and I'll show you how as well. So this is Simon's Cat. I've already covered it before, but if you're new to the channel, this is basically a token which I think is it's going to be released very soon, August 22nd. I think this has massive potential and I'm going to be putting in a couple of thousand dollars at least and even more into an actual staking program to try and get an allocation of this token. I'm going to go through it all now fast and I'll show you what I'm going to do from the Solana blockchain, but this will be on BNB and you can do it another way if you need to. So Simon's Cat, this is the official X account for basically the, this IP. And this IP is really sick. It's got high engagement. And although Twitter is not really the go-to place for this IP, certainly YouTube is properly decent. So 6 million subscribers. It's cartoon animation. I've never heard of it before, just for context. And I have, uh, like, there's no sponsorship or affiliation or anything like this. This is just something that I think has massive potential. Like even the most recent videos are like 65Ks, 400,000Ks. 400,000k views, 66 million views on the most popular ones. They have shorts as well. This is a massive studio and like this has what I think just brilliant IP and it has a medium for getting this stuff out there. So let me tell you about the thesis and why I think it's worthwhile. So Simon's Cat Token, 34,000 followers, nothing crazy yet. It's There's no token live yet, but we'll all be playing on BNB. I have a major thesis that BNB is still going to be this insane ecosystem. Basically, Binance is a whale. They control markets to a very large degree. CZ, Binance, I don't know when he's going to get out of jail. I should probably find that out. But if you didn't know, like the amount of weight that this guy's tweets, opinions, or just mind carry is, is probably the most in all of doxed crypto. There might be some whale hitting in the shadows that can do more. But this guy is properly massive. Like as an example, FTX collapsed a couple of years ago and they collapsed because they were sent, they were being criminal. However, one tweet from CZ secured the entire collapse. It could have maybe been bailed out potentially, but CZ was just like, no, nah, bam. And then he got taken to prison himself. Uh, SBF is also in prison, but that's another story. CZ was in prison for another thing. Basically, Binance allowing Russia and these and these countries that aren't allowed to have US dollars or something like that to use the exchange. Either way, let's get back on topic. So this is collaborated literally with BNB Chain. BNB Chain used to be called Binance Smart Chain. This is the official Twitter for BNB Chain. 3.5 million followers. Now, I didn't even see this. Win a share of 150k and access to a 900k liquidity pool with our BNB Chain meme coin innovation battle. Right now, meme coins uh, legitimately they're here, they're taking over people's timelines, they are extracting an insane amount of liquidity, it's just pump after the pump, dump after dump, it's it's hard, it's hard to play with, and Solana is very easy to actually launch one, but they, they're all, they're ultimately, they're not plus EV, right, they're net negative, there's like 10,000 tokens, sometimes there's 100,000 tokens a day, I think with the Trump and Elon uh, Twitter space, and that's, that's what's going on. This is from, it's in collaboration with the Flocky team. So I imagine they've got some sort of strong incentive there. Flocky's a, a meme. This is a dog meme. This did very well in the previous cycle. We can probably have a look at that quickly on CoinGecko just for a bit of context. So that they have a massive market cap of over a billion. Obviously, Bonk is a little bit better. Whiff is doing a little bit better. Pepe's got this mind share. And Sheep has, still has the, the biggest mind share. Pepe's done very, very well exceptionally well and Flocky wants to have some more success of course this is only natural you can see they're still down oh their all-time high was quite recent okay that's quite crazy either way you can see bam they absolutely exploded here and they exploded here again and now they're coming down so they're trying to help this project in order to hype them up of course and bring some love to Flocky so I'm going to go through everything I hold no Flocky currently zero honest I hold nothing so Flocky is working with Simon's Cat meme which is officially like connected to the Simon's Cat IP. And BNB Chain is effectively endorsing this because it's going to be on BNB Chain, which is great for BNB. BNB ecosystem has nothing going for it right now, but you cannot discount them. They're just, they are the biggest whales in my opinion. So what do they have? They have this token launcher. 
This is TokenFi, and this is created, I think, by the Flocky team, per the research that my research has gone through. I am, and this is not financial advice, but you can you can copy what I'm doing if you want. I'm going to go and bridge some money across to the BNB chain. I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go and buy some of their tokens. I'm going to stake it, and then that's going to get me an allocation to hopefully get some Simon token. There's plenty of risk in here. Honestly, stay at the end of this video. This will be well worth a watch. So what is TokenFi? It's apparently the ultimate crypto and real world asset tokenization platform. We aim to make tokenization seamless and easy for the masses. You can see here they've got the Flocky icon, meaning that they are affiliated with Flocky. We can see that another way as well if we went and found Flocky like this. Come back here and then go to affiliates. All of the affiliates, they've got Jackie, blah, 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 TokenFi. So it's an official affiliate. You can't fake that. That's who they are. And their token price is currently like about six cents. Crazy number of holders, to be honest, uh, for BNB chain, because BNB is kind of not getting a lot of traction so far this cycle. It says the fully diluted market cap is 300 mil, but when we come over here and we go to CoinGecko and we type in TokenFi, it shows slightly different but I'm just going to, regardless, I think it's worthwhile. It says a fully diluted valuation of 600 mil with a market cap of 100. Now, if we kind of zoom right out, and if we scroll on down, we can see from this autumn high, it's up incredibly, but I don't think that's necessarily totally accurate. Like It could be, but how many people managed to buy it at that price? Essentially, I think really, like you have to think of it as like three cents. Around three cents, then it, it dipped all the way up to 22 cents for whatever reason, and now it's come down. Now, I'm not bullish necessarily on this project. I think they will do well. Tokenfi could do well, rather. I'm bullish on taking a risk on this meme coin more so. Where we're going to do all of our swaps, by the way, is pancakeswap.finance. This is like the equivalent of Radium or Uniswap. This is where we do everything. There are a lot of scammers out there with fake domains. So just pancakeswap.finance. First, though, we need to bridge across. Now, I'm using my wallet here, which is my 10k to 100k challenge, I've got to put in 5k into it. I'm going to go with 5k and bridge across. So let me show you how to bridge across quickly. If you've already done this before, fantastic. If, it, if I move too fast for you, there's a video on the Jupiter ecosystem channel and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how that's done. We need a MetaMask wallet, of course, or a Rabi wallet, add network. I'm going to go add BNB chain, approve that, switch to the BNB chain, got it, cool. All right, let's go back to dbridge. So we need to change here from Solana USDC, great. And then we need to go BNB chain. And we may as well go with USDT. Tether's far more used on this blockchain. Connect our wallet, Soulflare. Soulflare is my preferred wallet of choice. I'm going to go with 5K. I wouldn't normally go so insane like this. For some reason, I've decided it's a good idea. All right, now we jump in here into our wallet. I mean, not for some reason. There's plenty of thought that goes into this. And I'm still going to cover that. You have to stick around for that information. Put in our wallet, of course. This is a decent amount of crypto. So we need to make sure that there are no errors. We're going to lose $8 plus maybe a small amount of fees. That's fine. Come back here. Confirm trade. All right, we're good. So now let's go ahead. There's a dollar and 27 cents plus there's, you know, $8 worth of slippage. Very, very decent. We're also going to need a little bit of BNB. &B. So same thing again, BNB, &B, nothing crazy. I think like $15 should, should do me quite well. Confirm the trade and it's going to take a little bit more of a fee. That's fine. Prove. Have a look here in our wallet. Import this token. Cool. We're going to have this BNB &B in a second. Now we have to decide how many tokens are we going to buy. I'm going to go through how many tokens I think we need. Firstly, this is the actual page of where Simon's Cat is going to launch. So even if we delete this part here, you can just go straight here to TokenFi and you can see it here. Now, before we go any further, I want to just tell you that all of their past projects have been rubbish. OK, so I mean, at the same time, like with names like this, you can't expect much, but something like this could push them into the realm of being able to get better and bigger projects. And for complete transparency and fairness, if you go to the dupe LFG launchpad, those tokens have been good tokens and they haven't performed well either. This is just the stage of the, the markets, in my opinion. So Chuki, I looked at it before. I won't show you, I won't bore, bore you with it. It's down from whenever it, this happened in May. It's down like considerably. And I haven't checked the other ones, but I imagine they're going to be down. And that's okay because this one has far more product fit. So you come here, you click on here, Team KYC audited. Uh, I don't really know what's audited exactly. I mean, maybe the token is audited to make sure that it's not like going to be ruggable. And then we go through all this. So we already know how big the IP is. 1.6 billion video views on the YouTube and Facebook, YouTube, Insta, TikTok. They even have a game. They didn't even know they had a game. Now, what is their competition? PopCat, Mog, Mew. These are all tokens 
I think on Solana, could be mistaken there, they're all cat ones. So we'll have a look at them. In fact, we can actually just go here, categories, I think Solana meme, we should see them all here if they are all those. So PopCat has 466 million. I don't know why PopCat's important or doing well, but cool. Mew, 400. And I don't actually know what Mog is. Let's have a look and see if maybe Mog is on ETH. Mog coin. Yeah, this is on ETH and it has a $400 million valuation. So we'll come back here. That is the competition. This is launching essentially at a $25 million market cap. And this has pedigree. The pre-sale market cap, 25 million. The token launch market cap, 25 million. So even if it did a 10x, 10x in value, it would be half of these and it has more pedigree. I think they have more room for budgets. They'll have more room to make this work. And they will be essentially the biggest, I think, the biggest cap meme coin on BNB. And like, to be honest, they should be able to overtake the market cap of these because they're, these guys don't have like marketing expertise. They don't have billions of impressions. So the tokenomics, these are the tokenomics. Pre-sale investors, 30%. 17% of that will be through this pre-sale race here, which means 13% was for the pre-sale, like the early angels. Flocky holders will get some airdrop. I mean, there's so much Flocky out there. If you go and buy $100 or $50 worth of Flocky, I imagine it's going to be linear and you're going to get absolutely nothing. Then there's a trading bot. I don't know if it's worth using that to see if you can get an allocation. Foundation, treasury, reserve community growth, market makers, and then liquidity. And then we have basically tiers. We have tiers on how we can gain more of the token. One thing though, why is there a private sale and a pre-sale? Why is there a pre-sale for the... Uh, the Simon's Cat meme coin goes through this stuff here, but basically, uh, secondary, the Simon's token will launch with a $25 million market cap. Sufficient liquidity is required to facilitate a successful launch at the market cap, and the majority of the pre sale funds will be used to ensure this. Uh, thirdly, several key exchanges have been engaged to list a token and require payment before listing. I mean, for something as big as this, I think you shouldn't need to pay. Binance, I don't think should take payment or maybe they can have some lock on tokens or whatever, but it's going to be probably on Binance from day one. And that is always massive. Now, a private sale was done at a valuation of $20 million market cap, which isn't even that far away from the pre-sale raise and TGE valuation of 25. And that's 100% valid. So August 22nd, this is when it's coming. We can clearly see Flocky and Simon's Cat as being in this partnership together. We've got a dog and we have a cat. My favorite dog for sure is Bonk and there's not going to be no competition there. But Simon's Cat, I dig it. Flocky as a token, maybe it's worth buying some. Like I'm going to tell you about Bonk guy who's very, very bullish on it. I'm going to buy like $100, $200 worth and you can go and buy it actually on BNB. You can buy it on ETH as well. You can buy it on BNB and still be eligible for the airdrop. TokenFi has a development roadmap. You can go and have a, a read of this if you like. I don't really care about this, to be honest. I'm just aping in because of Simon's Cat. Flocky also has a roadmap. You can go read about this. But, I, you know, my expectation is they want to become far more relevant. They have to become more relevant in order to have appreciation of their token and then start to unload their bags. Now, Bonk Guy is very bullish on this. If you don't know about Bonk Guy, you should know about him because you should be watching my content. And if you're not watching my content, you need to subscribe and actually watch it. He put a 6.5 leverage trade on Bonk at, with $16,500 maybe October or November last year. All-time high was hit of 13.7 million. It's down from there. He's paid over a million dollars in funding. It's still open. I don't know if he's closed anything. It's absolutely insane. Like, this is insane. And this guy, I mean, thus far, like, he's still got it open. He has conviction. He joined the Simon's Cat private sale and will max bid its pre-sale. So he's literally saying he got in at that 20 million valuation and he's going to max bid its pre-sale across several wallets. Uh, it's arguably more popular than PopCat, Mog, Mew combined. As the main cat on BNB, Simon's Cat is ridiculously undervalued at 25 mil. He answered a couple of questions. Not on the team. Pre-sale is not bearish. I agree. Main way to join the pre-sale is to stake token on TokenFi. Flocky holders will get an airdrop. He also has big Flocky bags. He's mentioned that before. Talks about a bridge and he also talks about a BNB trading bot, which I'll have to work that out another day. We've got time. So now how much should we actually buy? I don't know about you, but I would ideally like to get into this realm if at all possible. Going to be a little bit hard, so but I, I want to get into it. And the reason why I want to get into it is they get kind of more of a priority because how apparently this pool is done, it's done first come, first served. So to actually get into this amount, we calculated, my researcher and I, around $3,300 worth of the tokens locked for four years. We can jump in here with just $1,000 of token and that might be sufficient, but I'm more keen to jump into this and I'll show you why. Let me just bring up this page. So if we come up to the top and click on Supercharger, come on down, we can see this is going to start 
And anyone that's in the legend category that's got, you know, tens, 20, maybe $100,000 worth of the token, they're going to get a whole lot more of the allocation. Then there's hero, which we cannot enter. And then there's master. We get, there's a head start system. So they have 24 hours head start, then this, then this, then this, then this. I don't think anyone in the apprentice is going to get in. I don't even know for sure that anyone in champion is going to get in. I'm hoping master can get in. So we could be absolutely messed up by the fact that we can't get in. And if that happens, it will be heartbreaking. It will be annoying. So of course, nothing's financial advice. I'm just trying to work out how we can actually get involved. There's also a maximum amount of money that we can put in depending on the tier. You can see that here just for context. So Master can put in $3,000, Legend can put in $25,000, and Champion can put in $2,000. Now, per the research we've done, once again, we basically think we need about 900 million points in order to get from champion to master. That is what this information is. And the calculation on that I've got on this screen over here is maybe around $3,400. It's around 56,250 tokens. So we're going to go for 57,000 tokens. So let me show you how to use PancakeSwap. So we're going to be buying this token here. We have to actually import the token. I'm just going to link this below this exact link. You have to buy the right token, of course, and it's nowhere near as friendly as Jupiter. So just keep that in mind. Connect our MetaMask. And then I've got a decent amount of money here. I want 57,000 tokens. So we should be okay here. Trading fee, swap. We've got some slippage on here. I don't know how much front running happens on BNB chain, probably nowhere near as much as what is done over in uh, Solana, but we should be okay. If you're new to BNB chain, it's it's quite different. But if you are familiar with BNB or EVMs, then you're fine. MetaMask is a little bit harder to use and you do need to kind of look at the transactions. It doesn't have that user-friendly nature that Solana does with Soulflare wallet, Phantom wallet, and so on, but it still works. Now we have to add the token to the wallet. We don't have to do it. It just visually we can then see it. So we jump into here, we're going to see in our tokens, all of these tokens. So I didn't quite get 57,000, uh, a little bit of slippage. Now let's go back here, staking.tokenfi.com, connect the wallet, browser wallet, connect, confirm. Now we're going to go get started and I'm going to go max. I'm going to lock this all up and I'm hoping that we get into that master level. I'm locking up for four years, not necessarily going to keep it there, but we get this big multiplier. And then if we want to unstake early, we just pay a penalty. Confirm. And we've got a couple of transactions here to send. I'm a little bit scary that I scared that I don't have enough tokens, but I'm hoping I, I hit there. If I don't, damn completely damn, but we'll see how we go. So we have a couple of transactions here. Let's just let them go through. Next one here, confirm all of these tokens will leave our wallet. Okay, congratulations, you are all set. So now we should be able to see my stakes. For some reason, this web page is just not working as intended. There we are. We we can also claim tokens. We, we are earning some tokens. Now remember, with staking, you can unstake. You just go max or whatever you want to do. There's a 20% penalty that we actually will have to pay, and that's fine by me. Hopefully the price of the token would have gone up by 20% or more, of course, or ideally Simon's token would have done well for us if you're jumping into this and we would be fine. Now also, if you decide to go and stake for a shorter period of time, it's small amount. So for three months, if you unstake, it's a 5% fee. I'm going with four years. Now we have this stake. I'm going to wait a little bit of time because currently I don't think I'm accruing points. When I start to accrue points, then hopefully we see ourselves in the champion field. In the meantime, I'm going to head across to PancakeSwap. I'm going to go and buy a small amount of Flocky. Nothing crazy. If you put in Flocky and you can't find it, like, and you're not sure, is it this one? Whatever. What you annoyingly have to do is you have to go all the way back to CoinGecko, type in Flocky. It's always good to learn new things. Click here, find Flocky, scroll on down to where we've got the contract address, and you need to just go and copy the contract address on the other blockchain. So this is different to the contract address on ETH. So we copy that, then we come back to PancakeSwap, then we paste it in, it says Flocky, then we're good. As I said, not crazily bullish on this, so I'm going to go with $200, and then I'm going to swap. Now, I've got, you know, $1,300 that I can jump into the, the Simon presale. I will go in with more, so I am I need to bridge across some more money, but that was just, I've got a few days to do that. Confirm. Now, of course, if I miss the Simon's presale, which I don't think I will, but if I did, then I'll just bridge the money back over to Solana and earn some yield on it. We can add the Flocky to the wallet. I don't know when the snapshot's going to be. Nothing crazy there, but I imagine that this will perform relatively well throughout the cycle. 
we'll have to see how that plays out, of course. Now it's time for the end of the video, and unfortunately the point system isn't actually showing. So I can claim some tokens. Obviously you don't want to claim too little tokens because the BNB fee in gas will be higher. But basically this is working. Maybe it needs an hour or so to catch up. So just a little update before we do send out this video. So I do have the master level. So that's 9 million points. Just took a little bit of time to update. So my ranking with this wallet is number 700. What we can see though, is that champion level has 640 million points. And that's ranking number 799. Now that can of course go down as more people go and stake, which is likely. But let's assume as an example, that with a little bit of back of the napkin math, this is done by my researcher, one of my researchers, Tyler. Essentially, let's go with total eligible wallet 7,000 might be a little bit more. We could assume that master will definitely get in. And then we're looking at for the champion tier, 1.5 million plus or minus worth of tokens. Of course, not everyone in this top section is going to go and grab some of these meme coins. Some, they might just skip it or they might be too busy or they might miss it, but we're probably realistically still going to have a chance. Even if you're a champion, if you're in the champion tier, just you'll have to be setting reminders and then going in with fast gas is my expectation. Maybe I'm overhyping this, but that's my expectation. And also remember that this sale starts in five days, one hour, 43 minutes, but the actual start times vary for each tier. This is actually for the public sale. And I really doubt there'll be any money left for public. I would be surprised if Apprentice gets in. Also, when this is done, you get all of your tokens on token generation event. So my plan will probably be to try and recoup some of the money I've actually put in and then I'll just leave the other tokens to just ride. We can cover that in another video. That's all for this video. Make sure you subscribe so you catch more of my content.